Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. This time is a tutorial on how to convert your Miku Miku dance models to VRM so you can use them in Wakaru, B World and other games and programs. Before we begin, there is something important I have to say. If you are converting a model that you found on the internet, make sure to read the terms of use. Not all modelers allow this type of conversions, so have that in mind so you don't get in trouble. Now let's go to what we need. We need Unity 3D, UniVRM, MMD Mechanim and PMX Editor. All the links will be in the description. If you don't have Unity, download it from here. Do not download Unity Hub. And when you launch the installer, make sure to install Unity and Visual Studio. For UniVRM, scroll down a little and click here. And for MMD Mechanim, scroll down a little bit and you will see this title. Then click here. Now we can finally start. Step number one, software setup. Open Unity and create a new project in 3D. You can call it however you want. We import the UniVRM package by drag and dropping it in the Assets tab. We click import. We do the same with the MMD Mechanim package. Go inside the folder and drag and drop this one. Now we have to reset Unity by closing it and opening it again. Close it and open your project. With that, the setup is complete. Step number 2. Model import and configuration. I will be using this model by Kafuji that actually allows what we are going to do. Take the whole folder of the model and drag and drop it to the Assets tab. It may take some time. Now go inside the models folder. You will see this file. Click it and you will see this. You have to scroll down and check these boxes. Once that's done, we will be able to convert our model. This window will appear and we just have to wait. It may take some time, even minutes. You should see your model in the Assets tab. Click it and go to Rig. Set it to Humanoid. There are some cases in which the bones don't fit correctly with the Unity Skeleton, so to make sure everything is in place, Clicking Configure. Here we can check if every bone is in place. The error I'm getting right now is not common, and the model will work correctly even with this error. So don't worry if you get it just to make sure the standard bones are in place.
and if any standard bone is missing, just click any of the ones that are close to it, look for it in the hierarchy and drag and drop it to the right place. Once that's done, you click in done. And now our model has its very first configuration. Step number 3. Replacing materials. You can drag and drop your model in the hierarchy now, so you know you are assigning the right shader to each material. We go to the materials folder that should be inside the models folder. You will see these spheres inside the folder. Select all the spheres without transparency. Go over here and select BRM. Then choose M Tune. I like how it looks with the default settings, so I will leave it like this. You can mess around with all this so your model can look different or better. Now select the spheres with transparency. Go over here and choose M Tune again. But since these materials have transparency, we need to change a setting to avoid this. We just have to change the rendering type to cutout. And that's it for the materials. Step number 4. Normalizing the model. This step may sound dumb, but it is in the official documentation. To do that, we select our model in the hierarchy, go over here and select Export Humanoid. Since this model is not mine, I will put the name of the creator. To normalize the model, we have to check the boxes of Force Depots and Pose Freeze. Click Export and name it however you want. This is not the final step. You will get this notification once the model has been normalized. Step number 5. Adding facial expressions. Delete the model we have in the hierarchy. We create a new folder and you name it however you want. I will name it like this. We go inside that folder and we import the model we just exported. That will generate all these files. Drag and drop this new prefab to the hierarchy. Click the prefab and search for blend shape in the inspector. Click here and it will open this folder. Click the expression you want to modify and go over here. You will see this strange arrow. Click it and all the expressions the model had in MMD will be here. If you don't know what these mean, you can check it in PMX editor. You have to manually set each of the expressions. If you need more facial expressions, click the Blend Shape file. Go over here and click at Blend Shape Clip. Name it and save it. You can add as many as you want. Just make sure to add the right parameters. Step 6. Adding physics. Now that the model has facial expressions, we only have to add physics. Open the model tree in the hierarchy and you will see a bone named secondary. This script stores the physics in the model. To make this step easier, we have to add more of these scripts depending on how many areas the model has physics. 
in this case I need one for the hair and another one for the upper part of the torso. So we click in add component and we search for VRM spring bone. Over here you will see this root bones option. Click it and you will see this size option. Here you will add the number of bones that need physics. You can use PMX editor to know how many bones need physics and you can also know the name of the bones in case you don't know how they are called. Once you know how the bones are called, look for them over here. Count how many bones are in the area, then set the number in the root bone size. Now you just drag and drop the bones in these boxes. And in case you click anything else, just delete the search, click the secondary bone again and look for your bones again. Once that's done, go over here and click apply. You can test the physics by clicking play and moving your model around. And of course, add the name of the area. Don't forget to click apply. Now I will add another one for the upper part of the torso and repeat the same process. Some models may need more scripts, others don't need any of this. It depends on how many areas of physics the model has. And with that, the physics are set. Step number 7. Final setup and export. Now we just need to adjust some settings and the model will be ready. First, let's add a thumbnail to the model. You can render a picture in MMD, take a screenshot in Unity, whatever. Just add a square picture of the model here. In this case, I will just add this picture that came with the model. Now let's set the license terms. Since this model is not mine, I will leave it like this. But if the model is yours, you can change it. Now we can export the model. Click it in the hierarchy, go over VRM and choose Export Humanoid. This time uncheck all the boxes. Name it like you want and click export. The model is finally ready. Now you can use it in any program that supports VRM. And remember, if the model is yours or the author allows this type of conversions, it's okay to do it.
but if the model is not yours and the author doesn't allow this type of conversions, don't do it. That is how you convert MMD models to VRM. And if you think this is quite crazy for you or you cannot do it, you can commission me to convert your model. The minimum price is $5 and it will go up depending on how many extra expressions you want and on how many physics the model has. If you want to commission me, contact me on Twitter. And this is all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and follow me on social media. See you next time.